Hi and welcome to this video on PHP Storm and Advanced Features. My name is Conformity and in this video I'd like to show you some of the advanced things you can do with snippets or live templates in PHP Storm 6. For this video I'll be using PHP Storm 6.0.1 which is the early access program version that's out right now. It doesn't matter which version you're using so long as you're using PHP Storm 5 or up. If you don't have PHP Storm installed, head on over to the link below in the comments and download it. It's free for 30 days and you'll have to buy it otherwise. Okay, let's get started. To do, to do what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you quickly what the benefit is of using live templates or snippets in PHP Storm. So to do this, I'm just going to create a new file and I'm going to call it test.js. And so say, for example, I create uh, an HTML file and I'd like to do some JavaScript or some jQuery in it. Well, in a lot of cases you'd have to start writing, writing ready and all that stuff for document ready. But I've actually done put all that in a snippet. So let me show you. If I go ready, press tab, I get all this and now I can start typing my code just as if I'd been not had to type out the entire thing. So let me show you what I mean. If I want to just grab an element, I'll press the dollar sign tab and now I get to start deciding the selector. So say I have a selector and I want to grab it. So say um, an ID by the name of get picture or something. And now I want to do something on it. Say I want to hide it, right? And then I can do, you know, all sorts of things. And I could maybe change the CSS or, you know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the point is that at this point I can continue without having to write the entire code and that is ex the exact benefit of using a live template. So now that I've shown you what a live template is, let me show you how you can create one. So if I go to File and I go to Settings or Control alt s and if I go down here into the IDE settings, there's a little thing called Live Template. So if I click on it, you'll see this. And we have a whole bunch of categories here. So depending on the type of file that you're editing, different snippets will be available to you, as you might expect. If you're at all familiar with Sublime Text 2, you'll, you'll notice this thing here in default, in default, if by default, expand width. This is the exact same thing as what happens when you expand your tab, okay? So we can ex expand by tab, space, or enter. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to show you is how you create one. So if I go to this user thing, whenever I create one, it'll go under this user thing. So if I go back to this ready one, which is at the bottom, I can find it right here. You can see the code if I can just drag it up and you can read it. It's really simple. So we have the ready, jQuery ready thing. And all we do is we have this variable here so you can put variables in. Uh, just like you can in Sublime Text 2, and we can say stuff to do. And that's exactly where the cursor will go to first. So depending on the amount of variables you have, it will go to those when you press tab. And this end thing is important. There are specific global variables that will trigger different things in your, in your snippets. So end, for example, is the last one of your tabs that, will, that, it will, that the IDE will go to once you've started writing. You'll notice this little button to the right called Edit Variables. So if we go to this, we can see we can see the default value. Basically, this is what it is by default. So whatever you whenever you create it, and then there's Skip if defined. So for example, if you've already defined something by the name of stuff to do in the scope of say the function you're you're writing, then it will actually default to that. So I've just left that as as it is, and that's what it is. So um, that's that. And now, if, say I want to create something. So let me show you the process of creating it, uh, just so you can get the idea. So if I want to create one, I just press this little plus button. You can also remove them or co or copy an existing one if you'd like. So if I'd like to create one, I just go to add, and now it comes up with the, this abbreviation thing. So. Uh, this is just a standard one, say if, it, if it's HTML you might want to do that, but really it's not standard if you're familiar at all with Emmet coding. So so here's a, here's a little bit of a snippet that I found on CSS tricks, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this. So, so this is just a normal click, and since I already have a click, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this right here, and what I can do is simply kind of plug it into my existing click. So I already have an on, and if you're familiar at all with the new jQuery syntax, you should be using on and then click and not just click. So so let me show you what I mean. So I'll go back to PHP Storm. I'm gonna call this, uh, it was, what was it again? It was refresh, so we'll just call it refresh. And you can see that it edits right there, and I can say uh, refresh a certain part of the page. 
So this is what appears when I'm looking through all of my um, all of my snippets. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to copy and paste. So this is what what I have here. So we see this right here. This is our URL. So let's let's uh, let's let's change this to our variable. So uh, let's just call it the URL. And now I'm going to change the um, context to JavaScript since that's what it is. And you can see the the syntax highlighting will update. So here we go, create random variable. Now we're going to need to create, this is also going to need a variable. So we'll just, we'll just plug this right in. So we'll call this element, okay. And, and this is the same one. So we'll just replace this once again with element, okay. And now we've got this whole thing, which is great. And now once we do this, we can just, um, we can set the variables if we want. In this case, I'm not going to. I'm going to select this reformat according to style because I like to have my tab characters and not just the normal spaces. And now if I go to apply, it adds it as you can see here. And now let me show you what I, what I might do to use it. So say I've got this whole program for jQuery and I've got everything written. Now I want to add something else. So when I, when a button refreshes, all I need to do is once again, I'll use my, my handy little dollar sign to start to grab an element. So I'll say my button, for example, so dot on, and now I'm, I have this, this whole snippet for on. So now I've got this here. It adds the dot because that was part of the trigger. So I'll just delete that. But so on say click, right? Now we create another function and now I can do this refresh thing, right? So now it creates that whole thing and now I can start to create my URL. So my URL.com, right? And now I can do this whole element thing, which is part of the new one that I'd like to load. So, uh, so you know, uh, whatever the URL is, <laughs> uh, right? So, so as you can see, it updated everything, which is really cool, and it's all looking great. So this is the advantage of using snippets or live templates in, in, in PHP Storm. So hopefully this helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments area. Thanks. Bye.